Oh boys, what's the plan today? Ride. Where, where are we riding? Yeah. <laughs> Every day. I think it's like an hour of deliberating where we're gonna ride. Yeah. In the trees. In the trees, it's looking that way. What's going on here? Oh, on the Jade main maintenance plan. <laughs> Looks a little leaky in there. Looks a little leaky on top of my deck. No, they were trying. Right, let's see, get every drop in there. Oh, wow. I think it's day 39 today. We've got 18 kilometers moguls to start the day. We're riding with the Jaden, Austin, Al, Matt, and Braden. One of the nice things about riding Boulder Mountain like I usually do is you get a nice groom trail. So getting up the mountain takes 10 minutes. Where you come somewhere like this, it's like 45 minutes up, 45 minutes down. And it's a longer trail ride. A little shortcut. Bit of a pull. I hear someone. Now I don't. Oh, I hear Jaden. Where is he? What's that? Sorry. Okay, I was gonna film Austin coming up here, but it sounds like Jaden's in a bit of a pickle up here. Jaden got a little excited, a little air into the tree well. He, uh, I made it through all that and get stuck right here. Right in the easiest line of the day so far. Right on the trail. Right on the trail. <laughs> Good hustle, boys. <laughs> nice little rock garden here. Right on the side of the trail. if I can go up again from here? Sure. line. Be rowdy if Austin <laughs> comes up through here. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Just back her up and give her another whirl. <laughs> <laughs> now they're both well, <laughs> on top of each other. <laughs> Just... 
It's a good line, you'll be all right. <laughs> 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 you nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on up here, Jaden? Mount Moss, buddy. One panel, two panel. Um, you need an exhaust shroud? Wow, oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> these smooth trails, they really hold everything tight. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we use these hose clamps last year on something? Yeah, on the, on the fuel line. fuel line right here, we had it wrapped around. Yeah, it. yeah. Really covering a lot of ground here today. I think it's about one o'clock now, and uh, we still haven't made it up the trail. <laughs> Better weather. Yeah. We don't really have a destination in mind here. Braden did want to do another backflip, but as you guys could see, that is uh, not ideal weather up in the Alpine. Once you drop into the trees, you can see way better. So maybe if there's something down here for him, but I doubt it. So Matt's still human. What happened there? Got stuck, buddy. <laughs> Wicked. It was good until it wasn't. <laughs> hey, if he was on the boost, he would have not got stuck. That's right. <laughs> So it actually might be a good one. So I think we're gonna try and cut one of these cornices off here and let it fall on the hill below. Looks like maybe that one there would be a good one. Avalanche. You can see our first cornice here. Made a little bit of the top of the hillside here, but nothing else. Really surprising how well that held together. How is that not breaking? So it would have been better if we got this whole cornice to go as one, but it really didn't make the hill down below slide. So I'd say the snow's pretty stable down there. We're coming back down towards that pillow garden where I kind of got stuck. If you guys want to play around in there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I dropped it right in the trench. Thanks, guys. I can't say it has to do with skill. It's definitely a turbo. But we made her up. Time to film some carnage. Oh. Look at the vibration looks to be like that weird vibration is my belt i look down at my foot and there's a piece sitting there so i think that's let me have a look i'll see how many kilometers so i don't know if my gauge is glitched but it says i have 107.5 kilometers on the sled maybe the decimal place just got screwed up and it's actually uh 1070 so let's say that's a thousand kilometers on the belt might be a little bit premature i was getting closer to 2000 last year but uh, I think for the type of riding I do, that's more than acceptable. Yeah, so somehow my gauge reset and it says 107.1 kilometers. I, I don't really get it, but... So there's a little pond down here that we're going to head to. And then we're kind of going to race out of it. <laughs> Tying up the same line. I just drove my sled by here and all this broke off. <laughs> right over to there. Wow. <laughs> Leave it to the Flatlanders to water skip in the mountains. <laughs> How you feel about pulling back out of here? Real, real not too great about it. A little bit steeper than I remember. That seems to always happen. Should be a good time. Good thing we dropped in at four o'clock. Yeah. I like how it's always three o'clock when we drop into places like this.
I got too far away on this side and I wanted to go that way. <laughs> See my line up right there and then we're at the top. I was so close. I definitely exhausted myself with that one stuck on the way up, but I was right there too. <sighs> Silly mistake. Anybody on the radio? Radio silence. I don't hear any sleds either, so. Circling across the hill here to see if the guys came up anywhere. Don't see them, so we'll drop back down. So I'm looking at my up track right now. I can see that there's another track over top of it. So I'm gonna follow that track. That was a good one. saw it? I was so close, yet so far. <laughs> oh. You didn't hit this one. No, look how close it is. Okay, it's touching. It's touching? But it's not bad. <laughs> you didn't hit it? No. Oh, there's a little, little, little mark there. Awesome picking pretty aggressive lines there. Oh, he's out. Oh, plowed into the tree. <laughs> You know, I was thinking I'll have like a somewhat early day today so I could get over to full speed this afternoon. But I got a real knack for dropping into these nice places at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't see that. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, nice try.
<laughs> it's getting late in the day. We better go home. Hey, it's not just me. Bro. It is not. Just it's Ghost Ride 30. It's past Ghost Ride Bro. 30. Ow, do you have a copy? Can hear him way down there. Al, do you have a copy? Yeah. Left side or right side? More towards the right. Radio me when you hear me. Pretty much side hill out from right there. Yeah? Yep. Oh my god, I'm beat. <laughs> Getting a little tired. <laughs> I was hoping I'll get up the hill here, but now I can't get radio contact with Braden. The boys are getting tired. All right, we're out, but it's not dark yet, so. Maybe we'll drop back down. That hill is huge. Oh my god. Woo! Poppy arm guy's going off. Maybe his shoulder's not feeling so bad after all. He's just, just taking it. Yeah. <laughs> 